Uh, what's up guys, Jack Rips back here with another video. This video is for Horoscope 101. Of course, you wouldn't know that unless uh, you're on the channel already, so thanks for uh, watching and push that subscribe button down there on the bottom. This week's Evil Dead Week because the guys' videos from a couple weeks ago got deleted. As you can tell, I'm outside here. We got some crazy dogs in the backyard. So you might hear some barking and stuff, but don't be alarmed. It's just kind of cramped in the bedroom. My little son got circumcised today, so this I think this will probably be the best setting for the video. Anyways, uh, I didn't know really what movie to go over since it's Evil Dead Week, because I love both Evil Dead 1 and 2, plus Army of Darkness, plus the remake, so... Come on, Leo, I'm recording a video, man. Chill. Anyways... So basically, I'm going to start off and show you guys what I have. I did have a larger uh, Evil Dead collection, but I got broke a while back and decided to trade some stuff in so I can get some new movies that were up there at my DVD store. But anyways, of course, you got to have the skin book. Pretty basic stuff here. I actually paid like four bucks for this up in my DVD store. It was used, but in perfect condition, so I was pretty stoked when I got it. I'm still looking for uh, the Part 2 Dead book, but that's kind of expensive. I haven't got to run, got around to buying it yet. And of course, you can't really be an Evil Dead fan without the Ultimate Edition. This is probably like one of my favorite things that I own. I should get all the photo out here with all the different covers. I hope you guys can see that because I'm not really going to re-record this video. I'm a little tired. But yeah, the Ultimate Edition, definitely worth picking up. Um, they actually have these on sale right now up at FYE at the mall here for like $12.99. So not too bad. Of course, you got to have the U.S. release of The Evil Dead on Blu-ray. This is a good release. Not a whole lot of special features, but, you know, it gets the job done. And of course, the still book. I got this from Ross. It shipped over from the U.K. Um, I was really stoked to get this. This is probably the, uh, the most prized thing in my collection now. I really do love it. It's awesome still book. Awesome cover art, which James already showed you guys yesterday, but I'll show you again. Or actually, he showed you two uh, Sunday, but yeah, Evil Dead still book, awesome stuff. And of course, Evil Dead Blu-ray. Uh, I haven't picked up the 25th anniversary yet. I actually had it on DVD, traded it in, and because uh, I upgraded to the Blu-ray, but yeah, I need to get around to that. Uh, Evil Dead 2 DVD, Anchor Bay release. Uh, you know, didn't want to get rid of it. I love the cover art on that, so it's a DVD. And then Army of Darkness on Blu-ray. I did trade in the Army of Darkness I had because it was the Screwhead Edition on DVD, so I just traded that in, kept the Blu-ray. I will pick up the other editions again eventually, but, you know, I'll get around to that. But anyways, yeah, Evil Dead pretty much changed my life. You know, back in, uh, I was probably like 6 or 7, so we'll say 98, 99, somewhere around in there, is when I discovered the Evil Dead. Uh, my next door neighbor had a pretty big VHS collection. I'd go over there and borrow movies all the time. And the two, the first two movies I borrowed were Halloween and Evil Dead because I had never seen either one of them but heard a bunch of people talk about them. Especially the Evil Dead, you know, a bunch of people always said, oh, it's one of the scariest movies. And the first time I watched it, it was one of the scariest movies. You know, there were a lot of scenes that uh, really freaked me out, especially when you're six or seven years old and you're watching stuff like that for the first time. There's definitely scenes that, that stay with you and have stayed with me ever since, you know, especially the pencil and the ankle. You can't ever get past that. Of course, the whole ending. I mean, the, the whole movie's pretty epic all the way through, and it's just grown on me over the years. And it's probably safe to say that it's easily probably my all-time favorite movie of all time. Um, that and Halloween, they, they really go uh, side by side with each other. But yeah, Evil Dead, that's what really got me uh, hooked on the horror movies. You know, it pretty much changed everything from there. Of course, my grandmother was a big horror movie buff. So I just kind of stuck with movies like that growing up. And, uh, you know, I, I watch it all the time, you know, at least once a month, sometimes more than that. I know there's been times where I'll keep it on my DVD player, my Blu-ray player for weeks on end, and I'll just watch it and watch it and watch it. You know, I, I love everything about the movie. Bruce Campbell, which, you know, no need for in introduction. He's a legend. But, yeah, I mean, I, I just love the movie. You know, Sam Raimi, you can tell that it was a movie made out of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and a, and a lot of heart. So, you know, when you watch it and the cinema, cinematography that's going on throughout the movie, some of the camera shots for a low-budget movie at that time, which, of course, the movie was made for about 80000 to to $100,000, which is pretty unheard of. And for a lower-budget movie, I mean, it, it ranks up there with, of course, to me, surpasses anything that came out during that time. But it ranks up there with some of the stuff that, you know, had million-dollar budgets. 
But yeah, it was one of my favorites. Now it wasn't until about five or six years ago that I actually watched Evil Dead 2 for the first time. Now the first time I watched Evil Dead 2, I didn't quite understand what was really going on. Uh, I didn't know if it was a sequel, a remake, uh, a retelling. I really didn't know. And then of course I had seen some interviews later on that Sam Raimi had went back and kind of made it a little goofier. And it was basically a remake. He was saying, hey look, you know, the larger budget, I can go back and do something a, a, a little more comical, you know, and, and still keep the gore fans excited and, you know, make everybody else kind of happy too. Because he had got a lot of criticism from the first movie. And that didn't set, set well with Sam because it was one of his first movies. And of course, it was well received in the horror community. But outside of that, it did get a lot of hatred poured towards it. And that was, of course, during the, the 80s when video nasties were at the top of the list. And everybody was talking about that, and there was a lot of controversy over it, a lot of parents that were, you know, picketing movies and stuff, and Sam took a lot of hell for that movie, so he came back with Evil Dead 2, changed things up a little bit, add a little bit more of a comical side to it, but at the same time, you know, the more you think about Evil Dead 2, the more eerie the movie is. Um, I never had really heard it say, uh, said uh, the way Eber Robert said it, Eber Robert, uh, Roger Ebert said it, Whenever he said that, you know, when Ash hits the tree, it's basically him dying and then him experiencing death over and over and over throughout the entire movie. I never really saw it that way until I watched it a couple months ago and then I finally watched it with that kind of mindset. And I see what he's talking about, you know. All the things that happen kind of reminds you of what maybe kind of like Jacob's Ladder effect, just crazy stuff happening on your path to complete death. I don't know, I could be way off on that, but when I watch the movie with that kind of mindset now, it adds a whole lot more freakiness to it. But I absolutely love the movie. And then, of course, Army of Darkness I love for different reasons. Um, it's not like the other two movies, but it holds up in my in my book. Uh, I know a lot of people say it's their least favorite or whatever have you. In my opinion, it's one of the best movies out there. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot more goofy. It's a whole lot more camp. But it's Bruce Campbell at his best. You know, it's Bruce Campbell being Bruce Campbell. And I have not had the pleasure of meeting Bruce Campbell yet. Um, I did go down to a convention one time, a sci-fi convention actually, that Bruce Campbell was supposed to have appeared, but it got canceled for whatever reason, and I didn't get to meet him. But anyways, you know, you know, Army of Darkness is one of the best movies in my opinion. One of my favorites. I do consider it a horror movie, but also consider it kind of a comedy. There are a lot of things that are funny, but there's a lot of one-liners in the movie that stick with just about everybody. I've heard people quote some of the one-liners throughout the movie that's never even seen the movie. And uh, for something like that to happen, I, say, I think that speaks a lot about the movie. Whenever people quote the movie or post pictures of the movie that have never even actually sat down and watched the, the trilogy, uh, you know, I think that speaks a lot for itself and for the franchise. On top of that, uh, the whole franchise to me is probably my all-time favorite franchise because there's not a weak link. Whereas in Halloween, of course, I love Halloween 1 and 2. I love 3 and 4, but after 3 and 4, it kind of goes downward for me. Of course, there are some that I like, some I don't. Halloween Resurrection is absolutely garbage, but that's my opinion. You know, So that's why I can't say that that's my favorite franchise. Um, it's really close, but Evil Dead probably tops the, takes the cake in, the, in that ballpark. I really do think Evil Dead all the way through is a strong franchise. And I've read a lot of hatred towards the remake or the reimagining of uh, Evil Dead, but I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Um, I would definitely buy it on Blu-ray whenever it comes out. I'll pay whatever price they're asking. But, Leo, chill. What's wrong with you? Anyways... Yeah, Evil Dead Remake, it was awesome. I took my little brother uh, and my wife, we went and saw it, and one of his friends, and we had an absolute blast. You know, there was people jumping around the theater and stuff. It was on opening night, and it, it was a real, real fun and exciting time. The movie did start off a little slow, um, you know, because the first one, about 22 minutes into the first movie, is when all the action starts. But uh, it, it was about 30, 35 minutes into the remake that when everything started happening. But once everything starts hap happening, it's like a roller coaster ride. You're on the edge of your seat the entire time. And it is a lot of blood and a lot of gore. And a lot of people say, oh, they're just trying to cash in. I didn't see that at all. I saw a lot of, uh, you know, a, a retelling of the same story, but, you know, a, a little bit better storytelling, in my opinion. Yeah, the campiness isn't there. The goofiness isn't there. The low budget isn't there. But at the same time, the movie paid a lot of homage to the original. There's little things throughout the entire movie and almost every scene that you can pinpoint, whether it be a shirt down to someone's shoes, down to something that was in the cabin, down to the car sitting outside the cabin, that you can pick up on if you're a true fan and appreciate it for what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm a big fan of the remake. I suggest if you have not seen it, definitely go out and see it. 
one of my favorites. Um, definitely my favorite remake uh, this far, or thus far. I did like the Hills Have Eyes remake, but I'm not a huge Hills Have Eyes fan from the, the originals. I found the first two movies uh, okay, but not really up to my liking. You know, so the remake didn't impress me as much as the Evil Dead remake did, just because I'm not as big as a fan as the originals. Um, I still think my, you know, the, as far as remake goes, I think um, Evil Dead remake and I Spill Your Grave remake are my two favorite remakes. That's just my personal opinion. Hate me if you want, but that's how I view things. But yeah, Evil Dead, definitely one of my favorite, or my favorite franchise. Definitely one of the best franchises out there, in my opinion, especially for low-budget horror in the 80s. You can't beat the first two. Army of Darkness, of course, you got a bigger budget, but a whole lot different um, filmmaking style than what happened in the first two. But at the same time, it's still Sam Raimi, it's still Bruce Campbell. You know, how, how can you not appreciate it for what it really is? I mean, if you love them guys, then of course, if you're like me, I'm biased towards them anyways. Anything they're a part of, like James, I do find myself favoring a little more than others. Um, even some of Bruce Campbell's um, really low-budget, uh, crappier movies, uh, I still find it exciting to watch just because it's Bruce Campbell, and I, I grew up with him as kind of a role model, actually, you know, with Ash. It's just kind of a strange thing, kind of like a, a, a little love, you know, love story back there, you know, with Bruce Campbell. I just fell in love with the guy and have ever since I was a kid, so... With that being said, that's my video. I um, hope it was sufficient enough for you guys. But that's really all I, ha all I have to say. Evil Dead, it's number one in my book. I loved it. Definitely go check out the remake or the reimagining. It's definitely worth the 10 or 12 bucks you're going to pay to see it. You know, catch it on a matinee, pay 6 or 7 bucks. It's definitely worth that. And like I said, I'll definitely be buying the Blu-ray when it comes out. And all the movie stuff that comes along with that. So, anyways, this is Jack Rips. Tune in next week, Tuesday. My, my spot, so I'll be doing another video then. But anyways, Jack Rips. Peace, guys.